Hello everyone, it's Cecilia. Today I want to talk about the two week long Kyanite deep dive that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be working with this energy for the next two weeks. I'm really excited. Usually when working with crystals, I just go for one each day, whichever one I'm feeling, but I'm really going to dive deep into the energy of Kyanite. I haven't really worked with it previously and I really want to share my experiences on here. So I'm going to just be checking in whenever I feel called. Today is the first day that I'm working with it. I have a Kyanite gem elixir. So this elixir is infused with the essence of Kyanite. I will be drinking it just a drop or two, meditating with it. Don't worry. It's not, it's not like chunks of kyanite dissolved in here. It's kyanite essence. So yeah, anyways, I will be working with this, meditating it with it, and I will be wearing my kyanite pendant for the next two weeks. My intentions for this kyanite intensive that I will be doing, I am looking to work on opening up my throat chakra working on clear communication and self-expression. My intentions are also to find more balance with, with motherhood. I've got two kids, um, 10 month old and an almost three year old. They need me all the time. And I've just felt so overwhelmed recently. Just my needs are going unmet in favor of theirs. And so I'm looking to find a way to balance so that I can meet my needs while also meeting theirs, uh, but hopefully not coming from the space of lack as much. So those are my intentions in working with this. Um, this energy, it is a very cleansing energy. It is a very clearing, allowing old patterns to release and the new to come in. And it also is this beautiful dark indigo kind of blue color and it works with those higher chakras. And so I'm excited to dive in. Those are my intentions and I will let you know how it goes because at the start of this, I have been struggling a little bit to find that balance of self-care, self-expression, taking care of my needs, being my own human, expressing myself clearly. A lot of times when you have little kids, I mean, I'm sure some moms can relate, relate to this, maybe all moms, <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes I just feel like I'm screaming into a void and nobody is listening to me. And I've actually felt this way for pretty much my whole life. And so I no longer want to feel this. I want to feel secure in my communication to where if nobody listens to me, that's okay because I'm listening to me. I'm communicating clearly. I'm setting boundaries. It doesn't matter if my kids aren't listening because... I am doing everything I can to express myself clearly, cohesively, coherently, not in a way that's too reserved or too out there. I want to find balance with this communication and I really have been feeling like I haven't been. <laughs> so that is my intention for the next two weeks. I'm so excited to dive in. I'm also planning on making a kyanite meditation. So once I've kind of tapped into this energy in the next couple days, I'm going to make a guided kyanite meditation. So um, if you don't have the energy of kyanite or if you do have a piece of kyanite to work with, you can still tap into that energy that I'm going to be sharing. So. I'm really excited. I definitely want to share more of my crystal experiences. So I'd love to hear if any of you guys have any suggestions or requests, but the next two weeks, it's going to be Kyanite. I am also going to be using my crystal journal that my friend Kirsten and I made. 
it's up on Amazon if you're interested. Um, and it's got little sections for the crystal, the experience, and then a sketch or notes or whatever. And then it's got like notes in the back, but it's a journal dedicated to crystal experiences. So I'm so excited. And we are also launching, me and Kirsten on spiritualmomgang.com, we are also launching a crystal healing journey course. These amazing tools from the earth have changed our lives and we want to share everything we've learned. It's not just a crystal course of like rose quartz gives you love or whatever. It's not about the types of crystals and what they do. It's about how to tap into your own power and learn how to work with them and learn how to have fun with them and be creative and explore and play on your own healing journey, which is what I'm doing with this two weeks working with the Kyanite. I feel so excited about this, so inspired. So yeah, let me know if you have any experiences with Kyanite and I will check back in with you guys in the next couple days. Bye.